In a dusty town where tales of the Wild West live on, an old cowboy, his face telling stories of countless sunsets, saunters into a barber shop. He tells the barber he can't get all his whiskers off because his cheeks are wrinkled from age. The barber gets a little wooden ball from a cup on the shelf and tells the old cowboy to put it inside his cheek to spread out the skin. When he's finished, the old cowboy tells the barber that was the cleanest shave he'd had in years. But he wanted to know what would have happened if he had accidentally swallowed that little ball. The barber replied, just bring it back in a couple of days like everyone else does. A farmer goes to a restaurant. He happily orders a lot of food. Seeing his constant smiles, a woman decides to go and ask him why he is so happy. He says, oh, that's because I'm celebrating. The woman smiles and says, what a coincidence, so am I. What are you celebrating? The farmer replies, well, for years now, I've been trying to get my hens fertile, and all my attempts have failed until today. The woman smiles again and says, what a coincidence. Me and my husband have been trying to get me pregnant for years now, and it has failed until today. What method did you use? The farmer says with a grin, I used a different rooster. The woman smiles. A highway patrol officer pulled over a little old lady for going 10 miles per hour on the highway. As he walked up to the old lady's car, he noticed there were three other elderly folks looking very frightened and rigid. He leaned down to the old lady's window and noticed she was as calm as could be. Do you know why I pulled you over, ma'am? No, I do not, she replied sweetly. You were going 10 miles per hour on the highway. That's a serious hazard for other drivers. The officer couldn't help but glance at the three terrified passengers. The little old lady pointed at the sign nearby. Isn't the speed limit 10? The officer looked at the sign and laughed. Ma'am, that's the sign telling you which highway you're on, Interstate 10. The little old lady burst out in a fit of giggles. Oh, I'm sorry. The officer decided it was an honest mistake and was going to let her go, but curiosity got the better of him. Can I ask why your passengers are so scared? Little old lady laughed again. Probably because I just got off Interstate 127. In the vibrant hum of an elementary classroom, filled with the eager rustling of young students, a teacher, with a spark of curiosity in her eyes, poses a question to her class. Can anyone share examples of medicines and what they're used for? She asks, her voice a blend of warmth and encouragement. Instantly, little Harry's hand shoots up, waving with the urgency only a child possesses. Tylenol, he exclaims, for headaches, the teacher says. Very good, Harry. Anyone else? Little Jenny answers from the back. Um, Ambien, my mom tells me it helps her sleep. The teacher smiles at her and says, good job, Jenny, and turns to her class and goes on. Listen here, children. Always be careful with medicines at home, okay? Now, does anyone else have another example? Little Johnny raises his hand slowly and says, vodka for time travel. The teacher freezes for a second before the rest of his statement hits her and she stammers out, for time travel? Little Johnny explains, yeah, mommy says it helps get her through the afternoon. Last night, a revelation struck me like lightning. While I indulged in 15 beers until 3 a.m. at the pub, my wife stayed home sipping tea. You'd think tea, serene and gentle, couldn't possibly brew trouble, but oh, how wrong that assumption was. Upon my tranquil return, my wife, fueled by her tea-induced frenzy, greeted me not with words, but with a chair hurled in my direction. Her screams filled the air, a stark contrast to my beer-soaked calmness. I navigated to our bed in a state of peaceful inebriation, while she continued her tempest of curses and shouts into the morning light. So, dear friend, Heed my warning, tea is not for the faint of heart. If you can't handle the heat it stirs, best to steer clear. Bobby walks into a drugstore and tells the pharmacist he needs something to relieve his sore, itchy butt. The pharmacist says it sounds like hemorrhoids. He hands him a box of six suppositories and tells him to use one. If it doesn't help after an hour, then use another. Bobby heads home, opens the box, unwraps the foil, and pops it in his mouth. It tastes terrible, but figures he can tolerate it to relieve his discomfort. Sure enough, after an hour, there's no relief, so he eats another. He does this every hour until all six are gone. Bobby goes back to the pharmacist and says, I need some more of those suppositories. The shocked pharmacist says, what the heck did you do? Eat them? No, Bobby remarks sarcastically. I stuck him up my butt. A man is sitting at a bar enjoying a drink with the guys when an extremely attractive, slender girl walks in. She is so striking that the guy cannot take their eyes off her. The girl notices his overly attentive stares and walks directly toward him. Before he can offer her apologies for rudely staring, she leans over and whispers, I'll do anything, absolutely anything, that you want me to do for $20, but only on one condition. Flabbergasted, the guy asks what the condition is. You have to tell me what you want me to do in just three words. The guy considers his proposition for a moment and then removes a $20 bill from his wallet, which he presses into the girl's hand, along with his address. He then looks deeply into her eyes and slowly and meaningfully says, Clean my house!